so I ended my last video saying there's no gods, no souls, blah, blah, blah. The problem isn't actually that these things don't exist. It's just that the labels were wrong. So, is there a beginning to the universe? Uh, okay, yeah. Is there a reason or like a chain of events that can explain why the universe is the way that it is? Sure, absolutely. Um, is there a sun? Yes. Does it sometimes rain? Yes. Um, are there storms in the seas? Yes. Do species, are, are, are the species that exist now pretty fucking fantastic? Yes. Is, is, does love exist? Is, is there a process that is a thing that we call love? Yes. Is there a process that is a thing that we call consciousness? Yes. Is there a process that, uh, that, that is a thing that we call the soul? Yeah, sort of. It's, you know, none of these things are quite what, because all of these words we came up with before we knew what was producing the words we were labeling. I mean, the, the things we were labeling, right? So I already explained in the previous video how we came up with this word mind to all this stuff we're seeing here coming out, these reactions, judgments, whatever. Call it the mind. Then we found the organ. We're like, oh, that's the mind. Okay. The, the beginnings and mechanics of the universe, we called it a thing because we didn't know what it was yet because we, we couldn't point at it because we couldn't blah, blah. And now we can go, oh, that's what God is. God is entropy. God is a uh, natural selection. God is this. Great, 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 great. And, and maybe we could say that the terms God and the term mind are sort of, they're doing the same thing, but in opposite ways, sort of. So a mind, the mind is a subset of the elements of the brain. Uh, it is a word assigned to certain features or experiences of the brain. And we go, ah, oh, okay, so the mind is a piece. This label that we have is a piece of this thing that we found. Okay. So that's when we had a word for something, then we realized it was a piece of something that we, of, you know, of something real. God, it's the other way. So we realized that we had drawn a, too big of a circle. We had put a whole bunch of shit together that actually doesn't really go together like natural selection and like entropy. Okay, so then we realized that actually, so here are the pieces. We can call this, that piece of God is actually natural selection. That piece of God is sexual selection. That piece of God is moral instinct from your ventral medial prefrontal cortex. That instinct of God is a hallucination. Or that aspect of God is, is uh, overactivity in the parietal lobe. Okay. Cool. And in both cases, the fact that the word exists does not mean there is another object to be found. No, sorry. The case of, yeah, for both. So either God exists in the elements or mind is an element of the brain. There you go. What exists is the set. So the brain is a set. And then if you put natural selection, all the different things that are attributed to God, that's a set. Okay. You call it God, doesn't make it a thing though. The things, oh no, no. So the thing isn't, so the thing is the set for the brain. And then the elements, we have these labels, labeling the elements. Like we can't maybe themselves, they aren't themselves entities. And that's just what, it's a natural thing that happens, of course, when language or when ideas come before sort of discoveries and like touching the thing. Yeah. Before it was ether. Now it's, okay, there's nitrogen atoms, hydrogen atoms, okay. So we had this label ether, and we found the real elements of it. In the case of the brain, we found this real thing, the brain, and now we understand what elements of it our labels apply to, maybe. Okay? All right.